Hello, hello, my friends. How are you? It is good to see you. So, this is being shown on Wednesday. <laughs> Obviously, you're like, yeah, hello, Rhonda. It's Wednesday. Thank you very much. Okay, so... This is my first of a midweek video in the new year, 2022. And if you watched my previous videos regarding what I'm doing in the new year, my plans and such, um, you will have noted that I said every Sunday I'm doing a, a Journal With Me series, which has to do with our own personal journaling, and history journaling, um, that kind of thing. That's on Sundays. Then on Fridays, I'm following uh, Roxy's Creations with uh, Rachel's uh, Journal of Stitchery that she's doing. And so that will be dedicated to um, showing my work and what I'm doing in regards to uh, Rachel with with her videos and I also expressed that I would be doing on either a Tuesday or a Wednesday I'd be doing something else and that I was giving myself permission to do whatever I want to do that it doesn't have to be the same etc etc and I came up with here's the name it just was kind of like okay I like that so this is what we're going to call the Midweek Mystery. Ooh. <laughs> what will we do? Well, it's a mystery. <laughs> Even to me. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> on either Tuesday or Wednesday of each week, there will be a video of whatever. And that's why I thought this is the perfect thing to call it. Midweek week mystery mwm uh so yeah this is the first one mwm number one and i'm pulling out as you may know that you know i'm trying to uh use some scraps do some things that utilize some of those things and i had this little a journaly thingy that I had put together with paper bags. I had stitched it and it has pockets on, you know, I have folded up the bottoms to create pockets. And I pulled this out. It's just been sitting there for a while and I thought, you know, I need to do something with this. And I don't have any more of this size of paper bags. Um, the next that I have is a size number eight. I will tell you the dimensions in case you want to, to do this too. So I'm going to turn this into uh, an ephemera holder. Okay, perfect. Pockets, right? And I can also put pockets on the back. We can, you know, it was like, Oh, yeah, a little ephemera holder. Hello. I'm always needing those. It just seems like, well, let me show you the quandary. Let me just explain for a minute why this is difficult for me. Okay, so, I mean, I just love these old-fashioned tins, right? And so I've got, like, I don't know, it's stuff. <laughs> cool stuff, right? Cool things, but they're they're tucked away in this cute little tin and I've had them loose and I uh, you know, there's always a quandary as to what to do. And here's a bunch of stuff. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, I started on this and this was going to be Oh, yeah, I got to do that. I, oh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> so that's, and I have a few more. I don't want to, 
waste time showing everything that I've got that way, but I've got a bunch of smaller things. I've got some bigger things. I have envelopes. I've got things in all different places. I've made uh, one or two of these. Excuse me. <coughs> I have to cough. Let me take a sip of water. Ah, okay. Um, I've made some, but I've decorated them quite a bit more. And I thought, you know, sometimes we just want something that's super, super simple. There again, that's a difficult word for me because generally speaking, I don't know how to do simple. I always try, but uh, I complicate things. Um, and so I thought, well, let's try with a paper bag. And I will kind of just do this sort of on my own. I may show you here and there, but I thought, you know, let's make one together so that if you want to join in and do something like this, that you can. Okay, so a uh, size number eight brown paper bag measures about six inches wide by 12 and a half ish inch tall. Um, now these aren't, these I got from like a, a grocery warehouse kind of store many years ago. So I can't, it was like a cash and carry somewhere in, uh, uh, where was it? It was in, in uh, Oregon, Washington. <laughs> I forget. Anyway, um, <clears throat> or you can order them online, whatever. But mine, because they are like a warehouse type cell, they weren't, um, they're not perfectly aligned. In other words, like six inches, but they, as they go through the process of being folded automatically through the machines, some of them are ruffled, you know, they're, they're messed up a little bit. So what I did to try to get mine a little bit nicer, and I did it to these as well, is I take mine over to the iron I have an ironing board and an iron, and I spritz it with water, and I press down to kind of smooth out the bumps and lumps, <laughs> but you may not need to do that. Um, those that you buy, whatever, they may be very perfectly smooth and straight and flat and all of that. But one of the cool things about doing that, see the little, the little bumpies, kind of? When you spritz it with water, it does give it a little bit more texture. But that's up to you, you know, whatever you want to do that way. All right, so, and this may be a two-part series. I don't know how many it will take for us to do this, but I do know that I don't want these to be super long videos. I love to visit with you, but I'm always concerned about the time factor and wanting it to be good for you you know I want you to have time to to come in and share with me I'm I'm just aware that you're busy you have lots going on most of you and so I want to be aware of that and take that into consideration with my videos but sometimes it just it just goes as long as it goes okay so that's just a simple way of just creating a pocket this isn't meant to be <clears throat> like the most fabulous design ever created you know anything like that this is just to be kind of a, a quick project that will make it fun for you and easy to um, put some things that you like. However, you know, even though it's not going to be super, super decorated, you know, we like to pretty them up, right? We, we like it pretty. So this might also be a great way to use up some of your uh, scrapbook papers. <gasps> yes. Raise your hand if you have too many scrapbook papers that you're not using right now. Uh -huh. I see some. <laughs> I see some of you guys. Okay, so let's 
I'm going to turn the video off and I'm going to go grab some scrapbook papers that I want to use. And you can do the same. Or you can, if you got your paper bags, you know, craft with me. Come along with me or, you know, put the video on pause or stop and you go get your supplies and then watch the video. Because I, I love it when you're working along with. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, this is slightly ridiculous. <laughs> I have so many, uh, uh, much more than I remembered. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. These are all, those are kind of in the same genre. Here's one that the edges got in some water when we were moving. Um, but I could still, you know, you, you don't throw things away, right? And I could definitely use part of this. And then these can be spritzed up with water and paint and all that kind of stuff and make some amazing fodder papers, right? So, there's that. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. let's see. <laughs> have you have you gotten the the uh, idea that I like pink? <laughs> yeah. And meet me in Paris. These are fun. Fun, fun, fun. And then I have this that I have I don't think I've even used one page in here. This would kind of go along with the yeah you know what let's use this one let's this will be the one that we use that'll be oh yum my hubby just brought me some jelly beans thank you love <laughs> he went grocery shopping and he found some jelly beans I haven't had jelly beans forever okay so yeah so pick your poison, my friends, and let's just get started. Let me just pull out some pages here. Um, I'm seeing that looks looks like there's three of each design in here. Looks like oh, okay. These are some pretty ones. Okay. rip that out let's rip that out ooh that's pretty too <laughs> okay I don't know how many of these we'll use but obviously I can put them back in the stack so they will keep for another day. Those are beautiful. Obviously, anything that's in here will work because they are meant and designed to be together. That chair is kind of cool, though. I just have to look at these others and see if there's other that... That's more cool. <laughs> or cooler. Okay. I think we've probably got plenty, plenty now. So let's just go with what we've... Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm just closing it. <laughs> We're just going to close it now. Alright, let's just get these back. So, <clears throat> I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and fold them all. Let me get those out of the way for a minute. So, we'll fold them all, and mine are being folded up to about eight and three, eight and three eighths. 
I'm just taking it just above the the fold, you know, in the 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 bend in the bottom. Let's see. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Does that look good? A little bit more. Okay. So on something like this, it's kind of nice as you do it, get one step done, do it all at the same time. And these will be approximately, this will be fine. Sorry. So have you um, made any goals or things in mind for your 2000 <clears throat> And 22. Oh dear, my voice is. <clears throat> you ever get it like a frog in your throat and it just doesn't want to clear out? <clears throat> Let me get another sip. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. And this, I made enough bags to where this will be. Um, four deep, I think. So this is going to be a double page. These will be double pages. So there's three. Oh, I have one too many. Okay, well, maybe we'll use that another time. Okay, so the idea is we will stitch or glue these together, okay, and the same, and then we'll just fold them, but I'll show you some stuff to do to where it makes it so it's a little more uniform. <clears throat> With journals and whatnot, the way that it is so popular right now is to have it eclectic and to have different lengths and widths and you know, that kind of thing to keep it fun. and uh, But with an ephemera holder, I think it's a little bit nicer to have it more standard and uniform. And the way that we're going to accomplish that is with other little strips that we're going to add in. Like, for instance, these on the inside. These will be stitched and or glued together they'll they'll kind of butt up okay but then the next set there will be a little bit of space okay like maybe a quarter of an inch or so that way as they are stitched and or glued together they will wrap around this first one and accommodate this bulk that is created by the first set. So there will need to be, you see, there needs to be some space in between so that otherwise you'll end up with a book that looks like like this. And then the next one will be like this. And then the next one will be like this and it you know and if that's if that's what you want okay but it's gonna make it really hard to put your book together it's gonna make it more challenging and so by doing it the way that I'm suggesting it will be so much easier okay um, where did I put that other little book okay so together and I've lined this with just a strip of paper to take away that stitching look. Okay, so, but before we do any stitching, putting things together, we want to decorate our pages with scrapbooking papers. And I am just going to just start, I guess, no rhyme or reason. Um, let's do a little bit of measuring here. I'm going to want 
Well, even before we do that. Even before we do that, guys. I'm going to want to glue. That's going to want to be glued down. Okay. And I will do that. Well, I will go to the next step, but I would recommend that as you're working on it, you know, glue all those down. But I'll just do that one so that you can see. Um, and now it's for the decorating. So you'll measure your paper bag. And I like to have a little bit, you know, showing. It just, it just depends. These paper bags are not fabulous because they don't line up perfectly, you know, as I mentioned to you before. So I may go ahead and plan on, you know, that, see, it's kind of funny because that six inch line is right here and these paper bags are a, an eighth of an inch shorter, but the bottoms are the six inch wide. So just be aware of that when you're doing up your uh, decorating. So I'm just cutting out a piece, so I'll do this about six not quite six inches and I will go down uh, six inches so I'll just do some squares actually that works pretty good with 12 inch by 12 inch scrapbooking papers right and my ruler is actually six inches wide so we will cut that way and we will cut six inches this way and that should give us four pockets that we can decorate I mean that you know we're using this this is the decoration <laughs> this is the decoration my friends okay so the idea is, how did I do this? Let's go back here and let's see. Oh, I left this open. So it became a pocket too. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, decide if you want that. I'm not sure. I'd, I'm kind of thinking no on that because... At one point, this was going to be a journal, right? So you could tuck letters and things like that in. But in an ephemera holder, unless you write here or something or have a picture or something to show you what's in there, that's you're going to run into the same problem because you're not looking at it. You're not seeing it. Whereas with the book that you can open and you can see, ah, this is in this pocket ah, this is in this pocket, then the hidden pocket might not work. For me, it probably won't work, so I'm not going to do it. But that's up to you. I'm just giving you kind of the, the skinny on that. Okay, so, and I'm actually using a, I've had this scotch tape, or tape, tacky glue scotch, tacky glue for a while. I use it occasionally. Not all the time. I usually use art glitter glue, but the applicator that I like to use with it is quite small and comes out uh, smaller. Let's see, which way do we want these to go? Okay, so we'll just do this. So this is, you know, this is going to be a, a, oh, no, 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 Rhonda, bad, bad, bad. Ugh. <laughs> All right. My apologies, my friends. 
But as you see, you know, it's a mystery. <laughs> Midweek mystery. What are, am I doing? I don't know. Okay, so what we have to do first is I need to glue these two pages together, how they're going to be. Otherwise, the strip that we use in between is going to be on the outside. Does that make sense? So now what I need to do is get some, and you can tear up some of your your paper bags to do this, which actually that makes some good sense. Why don't I just do that? I had an extra paper bag, didn't I? You could also use just brown paper as well. Let's see. I want to get the most out of my paper bag here. Waste not, want not. <laughs> did any of you grow up with that? Or did any of you grow up with... Shut the door. Were you raised in a barn? <laughs> Coming from your mama. <laughs> that. Oh, how I wish my mama were here with me so she could say that. I'd be like, Mama, tell me to shut the barn with a door. Was I raised in a barn? Okay. You maybe have a much easier way to do this, and I've done it differently too, but I'm just kind of wanting to get her done. And I can see that we are going to, this is going to have to be a two video guy here because I'm not going to have uh, time to do it all and show you everything on this video. Let's see. Where's my... Where is my... There it is. It's hiding. It's hiding. Okay. So I am just going to cut strips and I will take this over and iron this whole thing because it will actually make it lie much nicer. And for this first one, I'm only going to do like a half an inch strip. And let me just show you briefly what I'm going to do. And you can go ahead to this point and get yours, you know, get yours done as well. So, what I will do is butt two of these together. Whoops, making a mess. Okay. I'm going to put glue. And glue. Okay, and then, and then she said, <laughs> as she's hurrying to get her all done. Okay, now if you're not going to sew, just make sure that you may want to even glue like a little bit of this together you know, these sides together and that together before you put your strip on so that you just make sure that everything, you know, is is touched nicely there so that your, um, your holder is going to work nicely. Okay, and see, and then these are just a teeny bit off, which is not a big deal. 
this is just going to be for me for my ephemera of course if you're making it as a gift and this would make you know this absolutely would make make nice gifts so then what you'll do is you'll do the same thing with the strip what did I do with my you and cut your strip and then you'd glue down here so I'm going to turn the video off right here and I'll be right back okay I have as you can see I have glued a strip I glued it clear down on the back here's the front I've glued I did the same on both sides here and I suppose you could keep it in one piece but then it has a tendency to buckle when you fold and that's why I would still keep it cut apart so then with this folded up then I picked another print and did a four inch by six inch and you know that gives me the pocket covering okay and now we're here to the back part and I'm thinking that I do want to do something here but I don't know that I want it to be as heavy this is going to be pretty pretty sturdy when it's all done so I had these I bought these a long time ago actually and I really haven't used them and I thought this is this deli paper right and so I'm thinking of folding that up maybe a little bit more there and just gluing that down oh you know what because this is going to fold keep in mind this is going to fold and then here's the other pocket but but I don't want you know obviously I don't want that sitting there what I could do is let's let's think about this <laughs> that's what we're doing my friends we're just kind of giving it a think and sort of uh, you know going as we uh, <laughs> as we come along here okay and we want to divide this in half okay now how do we want to do that let's see so we could go ahead and have you know cover this and have this be our our second pocket <sighs> decisions decisions there's always something to think about <laughs> always something and that for this one I would have to come I'd have to trim that down a little bit because well 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 I'm going to do it I'm not saying that these are my most fantastic colors that I'm working with or anything of that nature but I do love the idea of you know just kind of getting this in shape getting this down and wanting it to be practical to be useful if that makes sense I, I love the idea of it being useful and it'll still be pretty I just you know sometimes I have to get away from my pinks <laughs> I do and this is winter now at least here for those of you on the southern hemisphere you guys are 
you guys are having summer. And we are supposed to be cold here, but quite frankly, where we live right now anyway, the weather has been very nice. Now I could just cut this off and then I could put, you know, this over, but I'm going to just keep it, keep it down here. And, 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 let's see, I also want to just give this a cut up the middle. I know you can't see this very well from where I'm just cutting that up the middle just to give for the same reason that I told you the others the folding part it just it just is better okay so then if I want it to look let's see how did how did this go how did this go my how did this go just like that And this is going to need to be trimmed about a quarter of an inch. So I will do that. And you can just cut it to whatever. And, y you know, I'm just showing you kind of the basics. And you go from, you go from there, do whatever it is that, you know, you're wanting to do. You can make it, you can do a theme. And especially, say, if you're planning on giving it away as a gift for somebody, then, you know, a theme could be fun. So we will go ahead, we'll glue that. We will glue this. I don't think I need to have them, well, I don't need to have them line up, but we'll keep it right side up okay so I don't want to get let me grab a drop a little bit of a drop cloth somewhere I have actually been using a piece of wallpaper to kind of keep from getting everything mussed up that way so, I'm going to glue this down. And if you are not going to stitch there again, make sure that you are um, doing a good gluing, okay? Well, we've got rain now, guys. We are, we've had some really warm weather over the holidays. Oh my goodness. It got up into the 70 degrees, which is quite unusual for here. But, you know, we, we weren't complaining. <laughs> we were not complaining at all. Okay. So, there is our first pocket, double pocket, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch down the center. I'm going to do a wide zigzag stitch that will include right here, which will also include, you know, here too, um... I'm going to stitch all the way around, okay? Now, for those of you that are not stitching, just make sure art glitter glue, uh, a tacky glue, just a good glue, just make sure that you glue your pockets down nicely. Obviously, you don't want to glue that. And if you have decided to leave these open for pockets, then you have to do a little extra work because I've 
um, not been worrying about that. So when you're gluing your your decorative papers on, then you have to make sure that you put something in the top pockets so that you don't glue those shut. <laughs> okay? All right. I'll be right back. Okay, I have stitched all the way around. I've used a large a zigzag. Um, yeah, and this is this is just really fun. Now, something that I have noticed that I might want to do as well is there's room here that I can glue or stitch on a small pocket. You know, not not very high but that you can put smaller things in as well to make better use of your ephemera book. That's definitely a possibility. Okay, so this is it for video one. I will continue this in video two, showing you again how we add space um, for this ephemera holder. And I honestly don't know if I'm even going to want like a cover cover on this. I may just want to keep it just, you know, as whatever page, however it's decorated that way. We'll see. All right. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope that this has been a little bit inspirational and that you maybe have gotten an idea of something that you would like to do. Thank you again. This is my first M uh, M mix. <laughs> I don't even remember what was I gonna say. <gasps> Mid M W M Mid Week Mystery. <laughs> that might take a tiny bit of getting used to as well. All right. I love you guys. Until next video. Have a fabulous day. Bye now.